So you can see why all those people think that you're a sexist pig. Does that make sense now? Do you get why that's not okay? Are we live, man? Yeah. We'll talk about it. Um, all right. Welcome to episode number 11. 11? Holy shit. 91. Episode number 91 in total. Holy oh, balls, oh, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's 91 times we've sat down here and, and fart. <laughs> <laughs> Done big fart, hey. <laughs> I have killed. What's fucking been going on? Well, let, well let's fucking. Last week was fucking. <laughs> it's what work's been nuts. We've been fucking pulling some long days. And man, we had a shit start to the week last week. We've been filming today, first of all. We filmed the cricket episode. Which was last week because yeah. this comes out so a week later. You can watch minutes. that. It's out right now. Fun you days. can go and watch that right now, right? But just now, today, we filmed it and we fucking had cricket balls bowled at us and hit us and shit. I have a hill on my arm. That guy, This guy can bowl at like 140 k's now. He plays like professionally He played cricket. for Australia. And man, it's not right. It's not a safe thing. Yeah. You can understand why someone died from that sport. That guy, you know Phil, how Phil Hughes died? The guy mm. we filmed with today was there when that happened. Oh, wow. Isn't that, that fucking something? Yeah, fuck. We won't get into details, but wow. It sounded yeah. like it was- It would have been rough. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me tell you. Anyway, the reason I bring up the um, this series that we're filming is yesterday, we had one of the most frustrating days that we've had in a long fucking time. Mm. We're not going to mention this guy's name, okay? Just because we don't want anyone to go hating on him and because I'm sure he feels terrible enough already, but- Fuck me. The tennis episode is so hard to fucking film. We had it all organized, everything planned yesterday. We're filming with this guy. He's top 10 in Australia. He's like top 100 in the world. He's like a very good professional tennis player, right? He's fucking good. He can hit the ball very hard. Mm. We had Pat Rafter Arena booked in, in Brisbane here. It's like $100 an hour to go play there. To the stadium. We rock up. He meets us there. We're due to go on the court to start filming our episode. And then some dude comes down. He's like, you can't film here. You don't have permission. And then I was like, oh, it's already organized. Like, have a look at the videos we're doing. We're not like going to, we're not going to fucking set a fire on yeah, the court. Nothing bad's going to happen. We're not, and tennis isn't going to be fucking oh, brought into fucking disrepute. Nerds. Like, it's not, we're not doing anything bad, right? We're just fucking having a guy hit some balls at us. It's us. That is taking the punishment here. Nothing else. But they, oh, got to go check with marketing. <laughs> they go check with marketing. And of course, no, sorry, you can't film here. I was like, oh, well, what about one of the outside courts then? No, sorry, we don't want you filming here at all. So that was the start of the day. We had to quickly find another tennis center to film at. We finally find one. Props to Coops. Coops. Legends. Letting us, letting us on very short notice play there. We film this episode. This guy can serve over 200 kilometers an hour, right? And we're standing at the net and he's standing on the baseline and serving into us as hard as he can. And we're, Michael got hit in the fucking head twice at 200 kilometers an hour. It is fucking hilarious. <laughs> that ball went flying. Like it's just and we're hitting the body and then we just played a normal set against him and he was drilling the ball at us while we we're at the net. We got hit multiple, multiple times. Many bruises. Very painful video. Anyway, we're all happy. We we This guy, we pay him a small fee to come on because he wouldn't have done it otherwise. So he leaves and then later that night, get a message. Oh, sorry. Tennis Australia want to see the edited video before we post it. So then- I'm like, oh, well, Tennis Australia is obviously going to say no because they say no you to You got to understand these fucking organizations. It's like the soccer organization. These fucking Tennis Australia. I reckon Golf Australia would be just as fucked. They're so worried about their image oh. that you can't have any fun. This is why I fucking quit tennis. And so this this guy's like, you know, I was like, man, they're gonna say oh. no. Like you've like you've and we've already filmed it. Like we this episode was meant to be the one to come out just Sunday, just gone. So we had no time. We can't refilm this. And he's like, and he started freaking out because he was worried his Tennis Australia contract was going to get cancelled and all this shit. That, that would literally take, cancel his huge amount of money contract just because he filmed a fucking six minute video with his hitting some balls at us at close range. It's like, it's unbelievable how sensitive this shit is. It's so he's bad. begging us. He's like, and of course, we don't want to fucking ruin his career or do anything to damage his career because it's not really worth that. But s still, 
Super frustrating. Maybe fucking look it up before you say yes. We've literally had this penciled in for like five weeks with this guy, yeah. waiting for him to come to Australia, to get out of quarantine, waiting, waiting, waiting. He doesn't check. He had all that time to go and check. Am I allowed to do this? Would have been fine if he said no in anywhere in that five weeks. We could have organized someone else. It's the time that we don't have. The lost time. Very frustrating. And fu- to be honest- the, I don't, I'm not even that mad at him. I hate Tennis Australia oh. more than anything. Yeah, they're so sensitive. I feel, Fuck you, Tennis like, Australia. Like, that he, man, you came up to us. We acted nice to you, but I fucking hated every second I spent with you. You fuck. In this professional guy's contract, oh. it says he's a tennis ambassador. So he has to like uphold the image of tennis in everything that he does. It's like, what What the fuck? Man. Oh, I'm so glad I never made it. Imagine us as fucking professional tennis players. We would be hated by the organization and I'd be hated with pride. It's, like, it's like Nick Kyrgios. Oh. Nick Kyrgios is like, fuck, I'm mad, Tennis dude. Australia gets so- I'm angry, Matt. Tennis Australia gets so angry at Nick Kyrgios, but he's the most fucking, he's the biggest ambassador of tennis that there is because he, it's interesting to watch. Have a bit of fucking fun yeah. for once. God. So now we have to organize shit. another tennis guy in very short period of time. I have to get time. hit in the head twice again. At 200 Ks an hour. I have to get hit my spine. He hit my spine. It was such good banter. It was like, it was probably our favorite episode film. We're like, yes, it's going to be a really good episode. And now can't show it anywhere. So shit. We even said, we'll completely hide your identity. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like, come on. Don't oh. agree to it. And then bitch out after. We've you already, hit my spine. We've already gone through it. But anyway, so that was the start of our week. It hasn't been very good, but fucking, we're fucking just going to push on. We've only got two episodes left to film now, soccer and tennis again. Oh, fuck. I hate tennis so much. And we have some, moving on to some fucking better news, The Hunt. We have a very good result from Shane Warne and The Hunt, so stay tuned for that. And this podcast is proudly brought to you by Manscaped.com. If you- New, new, new. Oh, yeah. Look, they sent us- they sent us this shit right here, right? This, what is it? It's a fragrance. It's, it's a fragrance. They do perfume now. I've actually been wearing it. And it two smart? girls and one boy spoke to me last week. Oh, man, that's quite nice. It's quite nice, Matthew Brown. It's beautiful. Is it for everywhere? Oh, yeah. Everywhere. You can put it on your balls, eyes, your eyes, your, your ears. mouth. Here? Dab it Maybe there. the eyes. No, the eyes are okay. Fresh smelling I skull. Think the eyes might be a bad idea. <laughs> but anyway, if you want 20% off, use our discount code fully actual. So if you want to buy some manscape shit, any male grooming shit, just use the discount code fully actual, 20% off, just like that. Go fucking buy some shit. They're they're good. They're, it's good shit. It's I good shit it. at Manscaped. We use it now, all of us. Matt? Mm. Matt's got James has got one. Yeah, I got one. Matt's got has, one. His balls and his. Has your been girlfriend smoother. got one? No, but I've got one. It's manscaped. Oh, yeah. Shit, it's only for men. I, yeah, I guess it, actually in 2021, Women could girls use can it. have it. Yeah. Fine then. Easy. Girls. Man and woman scaped. Fully actual discount code. 20% off. Yeah, chicks like could shave their breasts. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hairy tits are not nice. Hey, don't discriminate. All right. Hairy yeah. tits are good. Some people like it. <laughs> no, nah, they're not. No, Hairy- I don't know. Hairy tits are fucked. I, I couldn't do it. Come on. Shave your tits. The other sponsor, of course, is the University of Markle, our subscription website. It is what funds the podcast. If you want to support the podcast, subscribe to the website. We have like 150 unseen videos on there. We post every week all the behind the scenes of all of our videos that we do. You get a 21-day free trial so you can see if you like the content before you have to start paying. And it just supports everything that we do. We make all of our bulk of our money from there because we don't get monetized on Facebook and YouTube anymore. So please support us. And if you can't afford to support us give this video a like give it a little comment okay that's support as well tell tell your sister about it mm. and she might tell her friends about that get them to shave their breasts shave your friends breasts with manscaped and support us by engaging in the podcast it all helps i swear to you please please subscribe it's okay yeah they get it thank you and fuck 
you Tennis Australia. I'm not going to forget this for yeah. a while. Tennis and soccer too. Soccer's been so yeah. hard. Uh, we don't want any that type of that type of media. Shut up. Oh. What do you mean? It's just us getting hurt. It's nothing bad for soccer or tennis. It's fine. Stop being so sensitive, you fucking backwards old, old cunts. Yeah, it's always the old fucks. God. So old. You have to be, oh, it's a gentleman's sport. So no laughing. No one's Shut allowed, up! No one's allowed to talk or have fun. Everyone must be straight faced and mm, shake hands after. Fuck you! Shut up! Shut up, you old cunt! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel better. I feel better. The podcast, the ca- it's like our therapy. You, you, everyone, every cunt's ears is like our Listen therapist. to our problems. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shitman. Shitman. No, no, shitman. No. Okay. Uh, also, reminder, there's a new segment we have where we give advice, advice. on people. Advice. People have been so, writing in. I've got a few. Okay. So, I got if one you too. have yourself some I've problems. i them, actually. You have yourself some problems. We are now doctors, so we can help. And we will give you some advice on your problems just so you can give advice on our po- problems. I th- oh, comment down below. Like, yeah. um, all right. Um, mm. Is that everything that we needed to talk about before we move on? Well, uh, okay. Let's lighten up with some fun stories, okay? <laughs> I had some fun, okay? Basically, on the weekend, I went with James and Matthew Gregory Brown. We went and had to... Uh, we went to golf, but it was like a short golf. It was like pitch and putt. Maybe about 50 meters each hole. Anyway, cut the story short. We're on like a hole up, up higher than these people who are hitting a shot. So, the final hole... It's like a hitting up, uphill. You got to get uphill up from the T. From the T. So we've got. I'm gonna say you guys said they were mother and husband. Blah blah blah. I. It was a young couple and a father. In that's my actually mind. that's what I. But thought. I was very baked. That's what I thought. I was a young couple and a dad. So yep. they're teeing off, and you guys are at the hole. Yep. At the end. No, we're we're at the hole near their hole, teeing off down. So we're crossing over each other. But you're near their hole that they're yep. teeing we're off. We're near to. their hole. Okay. Basically. And they can't see the hole. They can't see the hole. This dude. So let's call him the son-in-law. Okay. I'm going to say his wife was. That was a his bitch. father. So there's three people. There was. A husband, a wife, and Wait, then the one wife. second, okay. you fucking dog. I need you to fucking pause that story. Bake me! Oh, dude, I looked. I looked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I pushed The hard. perfume fixed it, though. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I, the Manscaped yeah, perfume I, is like, lingering. I like it. Anyway, but sorry, yeah. continue. All right, so basically, we've got a husband, wife, and the wife is. You've got the wife's dad. All right, so the fucking father-in-law for the husband. I hate him. The husband tees off and this dude hits the ball literally like, I'm going to say less than 10 centimeters away from the hole. Oh, it was beautiful. It was a tap-in birdie. Like, it was unbelievable. The sound was, of it hitting. and uh, Yeah, it was, it was so hot. I'm sort of baked, so I was a bit delayed with my reaction. I was like, wait, here we go. I can pretend he's got a hole in one. So, then I go, dude, you just, you made it. You got a hole in one. <laughs> Then he's, they're like, they couldn't believe it. They're like cheering. <laughs> then he goes, he shakes his father-in-law's hand. They like, they like, he's, they're congratulating him. It was it's like fucking- a Tiger Woods winning the championship, walking over, shaking his cat's yeah, like, hand. Well it was done. so serious. And then I was like, shit, I got to cut this short or it could get worse. Like, we'll, imagine if I just waited I'd for him I'd killed over in laughter because he had said it. And he's delaying the, the, oh no, joking. He delayed that for like yeah. a good 40, 50 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I, I lied. <laughs> 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 and he's like, he, like, it was good because the, the wife had a sense of humor. She laughed at she it. She out, outbursted laughter. The father, the father figure was like- the father-in-law oh. was not happy. <laughs> just like knew there was anger around yeah. and he just put his head down. We didn't talk so after angry. that. And there we was passed no, each other. Yeah, we passed each other. <laughs> I, I was a little, I felt like I'd done the wrong thing. So, I didn't make eye contact. I, I kept my head down. Oh, I would have said something. No, yeah, you, you did a, the best thing you did was like it was we were laughing we we're like oh no and your your reaction was uh, I'm a comedian I'm a prankster the, the, you should expect this <laughs> yeah. you expect this from me <laughs> I, I think I said that to you guys like yeah, I'm, a, I'm yeah. a professional prankster yeah, yeah, like, yeah. as an asshole thing to say <laughs> but yeah fuck dude had to be there I guess but it's fun it was fun and I had a good time it made me happy 
Well, he fucking go, eh? Yeah, bloody weekend. Yeah, weekend was good. I just went, went, me and Mon went and hung out with Mono and just a couple of mates. Fucking weekends are fun. It's just the weeks at the moment. Man, pretty this rough. Series the is series over, is where it's the end is soon and we're just going to get back to just filming some easier videos because fuck relying on people. Man, it's hard. Yeah. Anyway. Hey. Yeah. yeah. On this fucking day, eh? Matthew Brown. Matthew fucking Brown, is it? What? What do you reckon? Yeah, it's all right. I'm you're not too excited. He's looking down. You're not sure, it seems. Did you forget? No, I'm, um, I uh, forgot to separate the advice questions and the question questions. Oh, no. So, I'm just quickly doing that. I'm almost done. All right. Well, you can do that while I read these on this days. And by the looks of it, yeah, there is... Look, there is one diary entry here. Oh. From, from you. How? Man, <sighs> You keep saying how and every week I open the folder and there's another diary entry in there. Well, then don't read it. It's it's in the folder, man. I have to. It's in the papers. <laughs> it's in the folder. My mouth must speak it. On this day in 1992, ninjas raped Paul Rudd for the second time. <laughs> he refused to press charges to seem manlier. Fuck. That one's going to stir some shit. I can feel that stirring some shit up. I'm going to let it go. But just know, I call it. What? There's going to be someone that's going to go, that's not okay. What, men? That's, it's, a, it's a fact that Paul Rudd did. Oh, yeah, true. Well, Tennis Australia ain't going to like that one. Yeah, no one send that to Tennis Australia. <clears throat> On this day in 2003, Denzel Washington was a flea. He would hop around on a cat and lay little flea eggs which hatched. This story is speculation at this time and I'm still waiting to hear back from a few sources. Well, that's yeah. exciting. Denzel Washington. Did uh, you know fleas can't go on humans? You told me that. They can't, no, they, they can. They just don't because there's not enough hair on us. Oh, so they... Oh, okay. I think but humans can get flea infestations. Maybe the are nits and fleas different? Super oh, hairy. Yeah. Like I've had nits. <laughs> <laughs> there is something in me. <laughs> oh God, dude! I'm- a bubble. Okay. A bubble. <laughs> <laughs> The recorder, I'm buying a trumpet. We're not using this shit anymore. It doesn't work. It's Unless you shove it in, it doesn't work. <sighs> oh, man. That nearly stopped my heart from beating. Anyway, on this day... <clears throat> on this day in 2012, feathers were found to be long, <coughs> wide hairs. So, birds aren't actually feathered. They're hairy. Oh, wow. It's yeah. a different type of hair. I always thought that. Imagine, like, you date a girl... And she's got feather hair. That'd yeah. be so hot, I reckon. And you could rip them out. Like, I guess it'd be like what the Indians wear, the tribal sort of headpieces. Oh, know was those? that a headpiece? I thought that was just their, like... They've just got bird hair. Yeah. Nah, it's a headpiece. But All it right, would look good as actual hair. All right, so no one say feathers anymore because it's just hair. What different type of hair? All right. Diary entry. You ready? I'm excited. On this day in 2015, diary entry number 1,197 from Matthew Gregory Brown. <clears throat> I spent my lunch... <clears throat> Let me start again. <sighs> I spent my lunch break following her at a distance when I saw her spit her chewing gum into a bin. Before I had even had the thought, my body was sprinting as powerfully as it could towards that bin. I got to the bin and shamelessly started feeling around in it. Onlookers stopped and stared as I shrieked with desperation, my hands squeezing and fingering through every piece of rubbish. Finally, my fingers grasped it. I yanked my arm out and I was holding a piece of chewing gum. I sniffed it to confirm it was hers. It was. Now, cackling with excitement, I pranced to the closest toilet stall, ignoring the disgusted onlookers. I locked myself into the first cubicle and began rolling the gum up and down my face. It was sticky. A similar texture to my underwear after multiple fresh wet dreams. I entered a euphoric lust state and I remember quite little of what transpired of, of, over the following hour. 
All I remember is regaining consciousness with the gum mashed and stretched around both my hands and a little brown. Foamy ejaculate was splashed against the door and wall. My voice was tender and I could tell I had been screaming. I was drenched in sweat but my body and mind finally felt at peace. I knew the urges would soon return but for now, although fleetingly, I felt complete. Thank you, girl with gum. Girl with gum. <laughs> oh, she it. actually sounds hot. Girl with gum. Yeah, well, yeah, Matt, you fucking, you, of course you think that's hot. You I imagine like the people watching when he shrieked in the bin. Yeah, I know. It's sort like, of like very yeah! like, <laughs> rummaging around really fast for it. <laughs> Getting stuck to other things is hard to find. <laughs> oh, man. Bats with gum. That'd be weird. Try it. Try it and let us know how you go. A Matt Brown original. All right, Matthew Brown, let's lay some questions down. You want to do questions? Oh, that was cute. I like Uh, that. um, There are a lot of questions and they're getting good. (laughs) They're getting real good. Are they the most liked questions? There are a lot of liked questions, but we have a backlog, so we're getting through. Well, let's just get start with the most liked because we can't spend fucking 30 minutes answering questions. Yeah, that's all right. We'll go go like six questions. We're not we're not so backlogged that we're behind. All right, first question um, is from James Kilpatrick. Oh, no, sorry, Kirkpatrick. Read that wrong. Uh, Can I ask a question, guys? Do you believe there's a Bigfoot in Australia? And if yes, would you all camp at the place for the weekend? P.S. Keep up the good work. Bigfoot's one of the things that I probably don't really believe in, but like I would be fucking stoked if (laughs) we have a different version, don't we? Yowie. Yowie? Yeah, same shit. It's interesting because. If you are in like UFOs and you've watched a shit ton of UFOs, docos, then you'd know there's, there's a lot, there's a section in UFOs in the community, there's a section of people that believe that UFOs are deeply connected to Bigfoots and Yowie Far type Far less evidence though. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. I people, know. The people that talk you about You take UFOs. it with a grain of salt, but it's really interesting hearing that. So, I'm not going to say I don't believe in them, but, but I'm going to yeah, say if, that. If, I there were, if there was a chance to meet one, yes, we would 100% go there. And But I'm not going to say I do believe in them. I'm just sort of like 50-50. I would like to go to where apparently this Yowie in Australia is meant to be. Because it'd be cool to go hunt, like not hunt for him. I'd want to just have a coffee yeah, with yeah, him. Yeah, catch him. We're bear trapped. Ask Six a few of them. questions. We'll do, put him on the podcast. Have a coffee. Next question is from Ed Boycon. Uh, what's Michael's odour smell like, Marty? Um... He's usually odorless unless he's like, he's like a, you know how pigs roll in mud and that sort of cools them down and you'd expect him to smell a lot. Well, Michael's always covered in dirt and shit and you'd expect him to smell. And, you know, there are a lot of days that it just is quite a strong homeless man scent that comes from him. But no, usually he's quite odorless. But bear in mind that I have like only 10% of smell, my smell left. Yeah. I can't smell things. Like I, people always complaining around me about something that smells. And I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just got a new deodorant from James. It's like- mm. Plus this Manscaped scent. Yeah, as well Refined. As well. Refined. Next question is from Dale Rice. Um, uh, would you ever- come- <laughs> Stop! <laughs> 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 oh, that's fine. Oh, it's so strong. <laughs> it's so strong. I just sprayed the cologne about maybe fifty times. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew. Sorry about that. Uh, this, this is why it takes so long to get through the fucking questions. Oh, you fuck me. Oh, it's powerful. It's powerful scent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say, oh, I can smell a little Smells bit. Smells good. It's just too much. It's very interesting when it's that much. Like it changes the smell when it's that much. <laughs> this is a good bug for Manscaped. <laughs> Yeah, it still smells good. It's just it's, much. It's, it's just, oh, I can smell it now. It hurts to breathe in because it's not much air left. He filled the air. Lucky we're not in a little mini studio. We'd be struggling. Oh, man. It's still very intense right now. I 
can't get a deep breath. Anyway. Next question is from Daryl Rice. Um, would you ever consider working with Shooter Williamson if you had the chance? Yeah. Yeah, we, we're a big fan, big Shooter fans. He's fucking very, very funny guy. He's um, he's a bit of a party animal though. So, you know, with our new lifestyle, I don't know if, if uh, we'd be able to hang out. He'd be like a Christmas treat. Yeah. But yeah, fucking massive Shooter fans. If you haven't- Very funny watched guy. Any, if you haven't heard of Shooter, fucking go and check it. Alex Shooter Williamson- very funny guy. <laughs> Next question is from Sam Warner. Um, pod quest for the quest cast. I don't know if I fucked it up. Um, between both of you ringworms, what's a serious topic of conversation you discuss? Do we ever talk about anything serious? Um, tennis Australia got pretty serious just then. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck you, Tennis Australia. Yeah, we don't, there's not much serious talk there. Oh, like when it re- concerns, just I'm just trying to think like day to day. We have serious conversations about like. Like work. what we got to do, like if it's like shit, we got to do this, be here at this time. Yeah, we take we take like work things seriously, I guess. Yeah. And um, death? No, death. No, nah, take that away. We don't take death seriously. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, just pretty much work. Yeah, it's just about organizing things. Then, but like apart from that, yeah, it's literally just noises or farts. Mm. I'm not using that. Just concentrate on the best you can make. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Good job. Good job, dude. That was nice and long. Oh, yeah. So, basically, it's just sounds and farts. That's the that's what we fucking do. <laughs> I don't want to be known as the fart guy. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Here we go. Look at all the comments on the last bloody podcast. Oh, I've got to fucking think about that as well. Anyway, um, next question is from... <laughs> next question is from Rhino. Um, Marty, uh, in the, in the uh, tack ball soccer video, how did you get the embedded tack out of your arm? The doctor just worked it out with her hand. The hospital, but like, yeah, it was, it was, it was. I, I could have done it. I just didn't know. Scary. Yeah, I just didn't know. I did, you couldn't see where it had gone in, so yeah. I was like, you, sh- you just had to push it down a little bit and then pull it out of the hole. Is that, that video came. on the website? I'm not a member. Yeah, yeah it is. All right, cool. You are not a member. Interesting. Um, the next question is from Defy underscore you. Question of the podcast. Um. What's the funniest, Michael? What's the funniest thing you've seen Marty do? Oh fuck me, dude! It's too. I can't think of them. There's so many. Yeah, there's no standouts because yeah. there's just so many standouts. There is. Some- is that the same for you, Marty? With yeah, Michael's exactly. Yeah. There's just so many standouts that none of them stand out. You know what I mean? Next question is from Donut Films. Um, if I send you guys my dead foot skin, will Michael eat it on the podcast? Nah, but maybe put it on your tongue. I just rest it on there and nah, then spit it out. I'll- Depends how it smells, I think. Yeah, and like I don't, fuck, I'll eat my own skin. I don't want to eat some. I, what he could be? Oh, could be poison. It could be a trap. Yeah, it could be anthrax. Um, <laughs> I reckon. Oh, what, I don't want to put it inside me at all. What if you just place it on your tongue? Yeah, I don't want to have, have a my taste. tongue even. A sniff, clearly a sniff. Come on, a sniff. Just, oh it, yeah, like put I'd- it on your lips there, all that. Oh. <laughs> and then spit up. Uh, yeah, I don't want no. Nah, I don't want no one. But skin send, on me. but send, send it in. Send yeah. it in. We'll play with it. Yeah. Like we'll I'll have a fondle in. and I'll touch it. Anything could happen on the day. You never yeah. know. What it depends what I mean. If it was right now, because tennis Australia's ruined my week. No, but if it was like <laughs> you know two weeks time when if, this fucking series is done and I can relax. If we can catch him at a good time, so just send it in. And worst case scenario, we'll play with. We'll play catch with it. Mm. If you put it in your mouth, I'll put it in mine. Well, if I have someone doing it with me, because no. I'll put it in and then you'll say, oh, no, no. a gentleman's agreement. Yeah, your gentles. That's, that's no, when have I ever not done a gentleman's agreement? It's many, many, many. We have a gentleman's agreement. It is on camera. I cannot get out of this. If you put it in your mouth, I'll put it in mine. What about you first? Will you do it then? Oh, yeah. You, I fucking... I, I, I'll do it. All right. Done. All right. Next question is uh, from Talar Ahmad. Um, 
<laughs> I like this question. This also got a lot of likes. Uh, how do you guys perform academically, straight A's or F's? <laughs> Um, where, what, I, I, I didn't do too bad at school. <laughs> school was fucking boring. For and did you ever get caught cheating on a test? I think there's a story where you, one did of you, you copied each other. Uh, there was, there was, funnily enough, there was one test in, in, in school. Like I, I barely, I, I think this is like the only time I ever cheated. I cheated for other people. Like I would do Michael's assignments mm. and help him cheat. But I, this one test, I was sitting next to this girl and she's, it was pretty organized. She's like, yeah, yeah, you can copy. And then I would copy, but I would like word it in a way that was better. And then, and then we got the results back and I got an A and she got like a B plus. Oh, <laughs> wow. Was she cut? Yeah, she was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, so funny. And then, but yeah, I did. Or I did pretty good at school. But um, yeah, and dude, I remember I- the QCS. It's like this big last exam for the year. I got the, you do a practice exam, and then they release the results, and you can see how high you got. And I got like fifth highest result out of our class of 300 and everyone was like i didn't know that because everyone was like everyone just literally because i was just drunk all the time at school everyone's like dude you fucking cheated no one believed me no matter yeah. what i said no one believed me so and you're then, naturally smart marty he doesn't have well to it's just do smart much. It's just- when it comes to logical thinking and stuff like it's you know you can be smart in many different ways yeah you know, smart, smart isn't just what you get on a fucking test. Some people are really socially smart. Mm. Some people are you know, street smart. Yeah, it's just smart Julian. comes in many different ways. Yeah, well, yeah, you you got what, an OP8 and you didn't even try. Yeah. No, you got an OP5. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, Marty was just, he, he'd do my assignments for me. School, I did not try at all. I got over it. School was more just you went there to socialize with your friends. Yeah, you learn how to how to deal with people. Yeah, that's, that's it was what good. school teaches you. It teaches you social skills, most importantly. And, you know, I used to make a little business doing people's assignments. Yeah, and, yeah. And would charge... I've told this story before. I used to, I used to do his assignments and I'd get I'd charge $100 for an A or $50 for anything else. And Michael would... would was like, oh, yeah, yeah, got results for the assignment. Oh, I got a B plus. So, I, can't, yeah, I don't $50. even remember doing that, but apparently my mum. <laughs> and then and then we went over to Michael's house and my, and his mum was like, oh, did you hear Michael got an A on his assignment? I was like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I would have told, I would have told mum. I would have told my mum that you did it because I was no, always honest with She did it. not mention that. She did not mention that. I don't know if you, I don't know if she ever talked to us about, I can't remember her. You ever should call your mum and tell her that Marty did your assignments. I only ever did like, I only oh, ever did like two or three for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You did my tennis assignments. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was fun. That was mayhem. But yeah, school, don't try much in school guys. Just think outside well, no, of school. No, use school to figure out what you want to yeah. do with your life and just fucking learn how to, learn how to talk to people because that serves you far better than fucking being able to get an A on some test some cunt wrote. Mm, that's true. There you go. That's good advice. That's why we give advice segment soon. That is it. That's it. We finished the advice Done. segment. All right. Next segment. I'll do one last question. All right. These are good it's questions. It's from Swade Schmidt. Schmidt. Um, have you guys ever seen the gloriously fucked movie Wolf Creek? And what are your thoughts on that? I don't think it was that it was fucked. Pretty boring. It was good. It's like a. It's a pretty good horror movie. But it's like, based off true story. Yeah, right? it's a true yeah. story. But it's not. It's just a serial killer in the outback. It's creepy as fuck. But yeah, and yeah, like could I'd be love better. To, like you it, go there for a vlog. Oh yeah, with the place where you go and your car fucks out because of the. We should go there thing. for a vlog. We're doing that. So what we're happens gonna, to them? We're gonna try and the wolf. We're gonna try and find the Wolf Creek killer. I think he was found. Yeah, Ivan Malat. Yeah. yeah. Was that Ivan Malat? Was it? I think it's part of that story. Wow. There you go. Yeah. We could just do like a seance there and try and contact the people he killed. Yeah, that would be lovely. Maybe mm. see some aliens while we're there, and who knows? Maybe even get a bloody yowie. <laughs> <laughs> They should have Bigfoot chocolates in America like we have Yowie chocolates. Yeah, they're coming back. I've seen a couple yeah, of Yowie's Cadbury, Cadbury's coming. bringing them back. Oh, God. Chocolate. Esther's got so much chocolate from Easter and I just cannot help myself. Do you have it? Such a little piggy sometimes or not. I unwrap the little one. Yeah, especially when you're stoned. You can't help oh, yourself man. if it's there. Um, just some trivia for Wolf Creek. Um, it's based on 
on true events that surround Ivan Malat's murders and Bradley Murdoch's murders. That's horny. So, two different murders. That's the best. All right. Next segment. What is it? Advice? Are we doing that? Or should we break it up with... Yeah. yeah. All right. We've made some massive progress. In fact, we finished our second successful hunt, everyone. All right. So, the latest, we told you guys we were contacting his son. Jackson Warren on Instagram, he got back to us. He's like, yep, it's all good. Um, we, what did we say to him? We're like, oh yeah, can we get a video of Warney spinning? Can we Warnie, can the he king of spin, spin? Still spin. Yeah, and can- spinning could be cricket. It could be actually physically spinning around in a circle. So, yeah. So, any type of spinning. We didn't specify what type of spinning. So, the hunt was can Shane, we're just checking if Shane Warren can still spin. And he sent us this video. G'day, Marty and Michael. It's Shane Warne here. And guess what? (laughs) I can still spin. How good did uh, Shane Warne look? I'll do it later. I'll do it after. Just remind me. Okay, so that hunt is successful. We've proved that Shane Warne can still spin. All right? Now, Shane Warne also has a new gin. What's it called again? Oh, shit, man. Shane Warne, right? He's releasing a gin. He, he did ask us very politely if we wouldn't mind plugging his um, his gin. And since he sent us that video of him still spinning, uh, we thought we'd better fucking do it, eh? So, it's called 708 Gin. Okay? So, mm. not that it's the word seven, the word zero, the word eight, gin. So, it's a gin. So, if you want to try Shane Warne's gin, I hear it's very good. All you got to do is just Google 708 Gin and you'll go to the website and you try it out. If you do try it, let us know how it is because we're curious I like to gin. see how fucking Warney's fucking gin is. Warney also has a Cricket Star Academy that he's launching, all right? And he's going to help develop grassroots cricket, all right? He wants us to mention that as well. So, he's if helping you, out kids. Yeah, if you, want to, if you want to get your kids involved with some early cricket and Shane Warne's going to- and, Get taught by Shane Warne, sportsstaracademy.com slash cricket. Fucking get your kids fucking in there early, cunt, because cricket players make some bank. And give them the gin. And the cricket player we filmed with today was a fucking legend. Gorinda, you're a fucking yeah. good dude, brother. Good dude. Rad, very rad guy. But yeah, there you go. So the hunt, another successful hunt. A round of applause, gentlemen. Yes, a second successful hunt. So now it's up to you guys and us to decide who we hunt next. What's the next hunt cunt? Yeah. What's the next hunt cunt? Comment what you want the hunt cunt to be cunt. Someone Australian or international? Or something. We could do a thing. Like we could try and buy something rare. We could do something cool. Open your fucking minds and your heart will follow. Yeah. What's the next hunt cunt? Comment. That, that's very, that had a, like that's a special ring to it. It's very professional. Say what you Oh. Do you know why they call it 708? Because <laughs> it's made with 708 people. That's it. Do you know why? <laughs> oh, that was good. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 Oh man, it's been a long day. It's been a long, I am very long day. tired. Anyway, so that's that's fucking shame. Warren for you. he's got a gin. Next segment, PO unboxing. Yes, we open shit live that you send to our PO box. This isn't all of it, okay? So if you've sent us some shit and you're thinking, why haven't they opened it? There's a big pile over there of shit. We just don't want to open it all at once and then have nothing to open next week. So we're it's gonna open hard sometimes. T- Two at a time, all right? So, this one has a return to sender. This is from Danielle Hyman, all right? And she's from London. Now, I'm going to fucking open this and let us see what is inside. Oh, yeah. Try and keep that available in case it's like we have to return something so I can remember the address. 
We have one oh. book shaped book wrapped in wrapping paper. And the wrapping paper uh, so says, This is the shit on it. we like. This is like Christmas right now. Yeah, this is every fucking Wrapped week. It's up, Christmas. It's beautiful. To Marty and Michael. There's a note, by the way. To Marty and Michael. I thought you would appreciate the wrapping paper. It's my favorite. The wrapping paper just says cunt written on it. And yes, it is fucking delightful. I love this. It's cute. Just, I'd love to see a kid, like a kid who can't read yet, have his presents wrapped in this. That would be funny. I'm going to do that. Damn it. Yeah. All the kids I know can read. Yeah. Anyway, maybe when we have another baby. <laughs> just wanted to send you both a bit of a light reading stay fucking awesome you guys are the best you're the best you're the best 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 lots of love from danielle hyman from london uk instagram danielle hyman d-a-n-i-e-l-l-e hyman h-i-g-h-m-a-n p.s to the podcast listeners that haven't signed up to the university of Markle, do it there you go a fucking plug to the university danielle you're a fucking legend let's see the books that she sent us michael's gonna give you a follow now on the gram 52 things to do while you poo all right let's have a little just look here all right so you got word finders you got mazes oh, you got wow. Find the baby with the dirty nappy. You've got the average person spends three years of their life on the toilet. Huh. A little facts in there. A little book on things to do while you poo. Thank you, Danielle. Very thoughtful of you. I've got a pen. A pen and a book. Cooking with semen. 50 delicious recipes. <laughs> oh, we have semen. So wow. you can think about how long do, What's the shelf life of semen? Oh, it's just a diary. Yeah. Oh. But it looks like you're a fucked like fucked person oh. if you're reading it. <laughs> yeah. That right. is great. That is good. You can write all your thoughts in there. <laughs> Sophie from Victoria in Melbourne. Pull strip to open. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's cool. I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> well, for all three of us. So, a, an eye mask like oh, to help wow. us sleep. Oh, that's cute. It's kind of... um. What, a, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you don't know what these are? This is worse than the gremlins. This is, oh, this is, <laughs> this is a fucking shit. I'm shit for it. Give us send. a look. You, you can Matt, have throw- mine. <laughs> <laughs> fuck what that. The- We've never said that we want this. <laughs> Don't send this without any context. Sophie. Oh, she had a Thank you, but fuck sense. off at the same time, Sophie. I will, no one will use this. <laughs> I will take it home, though. Yeah, give it to your girlfriend. I can't even put it on. It's too small. Matt can't put it on either. Oh, wow. It's fucking tricky. It's pretty, like, oh, feels nice. Do do? It's silk. I've never worn them, maybe. I don't know. I'm actually into it. All right, we'll keep it on like that. I'm into it. Thanks, Sophie. Sophie, like, thank you. Yeah, but also, but- like, you just, just fuck off with that, all right? Don't fucking send that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's put me back into a bad mood. <laughs> don't, don't send us that eye mask shit. <laughs> the same week, Janice Australia fucked us. <laughs> <laughs> oh look the pens say hello cunt that's from um danielle so danielle much better said, present oh much that's better cool present. Look, look, look we got the fucking books anyway uh i'm moving on to the next segment where we um we um we and this is the name of it we'll face each other and then we turn to the camera with a smile and we fold our arms like this okay Ready? <laughs> do you need advice and that's the name of the segment all right all right, this is where you guys send in problems that you're having, problems that you need advice with. I've got about eight. And we're here to help you, all right? Okay. I wish to remain anonymous. My wife just got a new co-worker cool. who starts next one Monday. <laughs> 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 Who's her new co-worker? A girl I accidentally cheated on with my wife on five different occasions. <laughs> they know who each other are and hate each other, but have never met face to face. I know there will be fireworks and maybe a little fighting. Any advice? So, the so, chick he cheated on his wife with is going to work with his wife. So, they know about each other though? And, yeah. But so, the wife knows that he cheated on her yep. with this woman. Okay. Well, but- There's nothing you can do. You just sit back and watch the fucking fireworks unfold, cunt. Man, how would you want- like, how would you let your wife work with the chick you cheated on well, her it's with? It's not her choice. It's her fucking job. But well, the only thing you can do is support your wife and fucking reassure her because she's going to be feeling pretty shit. 
and just make her make it so, well yeah, or, unless you want to divorce your wife and you can support the other one but you need to pick a side you can't keep fucking both sides here pick a side and then support the fuck out of that side and hate the other person even if you don't wow I really enjoyed how he goes, I accidentally cheated on her. <laughs> <laughs> whoops, it was whoops, an accident. Whoops, five whoops, five, whoops, five whoops, times. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, you made me itchy. You made me all itchy. I can still smell oh. this scent. Mm. Mm. It's calm mm. down now. <laughs> oh, do you want me to read it? Oh, Matt Brown, that'd be fucking, fucking great, cunt. That'd be fucking great, cunt. Why does my asshole itch so fucking much? Oh, dude. There's so many reasons could be why. Um, Michael, you're an expert in this field. Okay. We are. This is a good question. Worms, but it's probably not. Hemorrhoids itch. Most likely. You have not wiped, wiped your properly. ass properly. Now, this is- It's common. It's a common thing. It's when you're in a rush to go somewhere, you've got something on. You don't have time to complete the wiping. Because sometimes, and I know that I'm not lying here, you can continue to wipe forever. Like you are made of crayon. Like it's yeah. just always there. Brown crayon, always. A continuous but- issue with people with hemorrhoids is that you continuously have shit. Just keep wiping. It takes a long time. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> it's literally, True. it's because <laughs> you've just got to wipe until- you can wipe hard enough and there's nothing coming off. So, like, just wipe better and then you're probably going to be okay because it's normally the case. But don't put it down because sometimes you can not wipe and you can have an itchy ass and you can get G-spots for days. Yeah. So, that Michael's saying that sometimes the itching is very euphoric. But if you want to get rid of the itchy ass, if it's because you haven't wiped, just get a wet cloth. Maybe the ones you use to do your dishes and just get wetness in there to help completely wipe it away. And then the itch should go. And if it's not, then you've got another problem. And probably throw that out. Don't put it back oh, with the dishes. Oh, well, you can put, if you put a bit of dishwashing soap on it. What's the problem? Huh? Okay. What's the problem here? Yeah, okay. You can use- Save your dollars. Yeah, okay. Yeah, recycling. You're right. Sorry, dude. But yeah, you also embrace it. Enjoy it if it's there. Which it because seems like you are. You have a shower and it's gone and you'll miss it sometimes. So, you got to go shit again and yeah, you know, it's the whole fucking loop. So, if it's there, enjoy it and shower properly. If it's- if you, if you want to avoid it, just wipe better. That's great advice, shit king. <laughs> the king of shit. Can we do one more? <laughs> yes. Last one. Um, um, advice question uh, from Liam G. G. Oh, did, okay. uh, did, do they want to remain anonymous? No, okay. they haven't mentioned it. Sorry, Liam, you should have warned me. Um, I don't think I'm any good at sex. How do you guys deal with it? Depends how old you are. You get better at sex the older you get. The more it's just just one of those things. Practice makes perfect. Man, I was fucking pretty shit house when I first started out. Yeah, I remember it was rough. But it, like, you just get better at it the more you- It's just a confidence thing. Some people fucking mature sexually earlier. Some people don't. Don't stress out about it. it it'll happen, man. It'll just fucking- One day, you're just going to be awesome in bed. Just like us. Yeah. And it depends what type of sex you like to have. And what depends what type of sex the, the person you're having sex with likes to have. Yeah. yeah, it's very clang, 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 yeah. clang. It's a flying here and a flying a tar. Yeah. Mm. So, you, you can do research. If people like loving sex, they can be- You can learn how to do that. If you like rough, hardcore stuff, you can watch porn and learn. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, practice makes perfect. Yeah, yeah, have heaps of wanks in front of people. Oh, and communicate with your partner. Oh, my God. The <laughs> best. No, 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 you. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Don't laugh it off. If you want something in the bedroom, if you want something in the bedroom, tell your fucking partner. Don't play these games. Communication is key. Don't play those games where you sit there and go, oh, I really want him to, you know, do me If dolly. you want to get your dick sucked, ask, ask to get your it. dick sucked. Exactly. Yeah, be, it's a comfortability. And get a yes. Don't just jam it in there the now. More com- <laughs> the more comfortable you get with sex, the easier it is to talk about these things. And again, the comfortability comes with experience and doing it over and over again. So, fuck as much as you can, cunt. <laughs> 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 It's like a 
bird, a cockatoo. I like that. But yeah, just have fun with it and confidence is key. Cake. All right, moving on to the next fucking segment. If you guys like that advice, by the way, <laughs> comment some cool. more issues and we'll fucking, <laughs> we'll fucking get a hold of them and fucking kick them out of the fucking park, cunt. It's fucking, it's fucking, it's fucking, ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Time. And this is a segment where I casually and calmly read very common German phrases as if I'm speaking to another German person. And you guys get to hear what that would sound like. Okay? Fuck. This has turned into some sort of circus. <laughs> I fart and I yell in German and everyone laughs. <laughs> hey, hey, du da. Willst du mich für dumm verkaufen oder was? Hey, hast du mich gehört? Bist du mich für dumm verkaufen? Ma! Bist du mich für dumm verkaufen? Which means, do you want to sell me for stupid? Which means, are you kidding me? So that's something you say to someone when, you know. They're joking around. Yeah, no, it's like, like, what do you, what do you fucking mean, cunt? Huh? <laughs> Bist du mich für dumm verkaufen oder was? Huh? <laughs> That's so fuck. Jetzt weiß ich, wie der Hase läuft. Jetzt weiß ich, wie der Hase läuft. Jo. Wie der Hase läuft. Oh. Jetzt weiß ich, wie der Hase läuft. <laughs> Which means, literally, now I know how the rabbit runs. Oh, fuck off. Which dude. means, I know what's going on here. So, Yo. you've come home, your, your wife's having sex with another man. You could say, Jetzt weiß ich, wie der Hase läuft. Oh. Ich schäme mich. Ich schäme <laughs> That's still good already. <laughs> Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. 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 Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Das ist ein Song. Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Guten Boden. Ich schäme mich in Grund und Boden. Boden. Which means, I shame me in ground and floor, which means I'm very ashamed. So if you do something very embarrassing, like shit your pants, you might say, <laughs> Ich schäme mich im Grund und Boden. <laughs> and they'll understand. Very good. Germany, very good. Very good today, Germany. Well done, Germany. Your communication <laughs> sounds terrific. <laughs> All right, time for our <laughs> fucking final fucking segment. <laughs> and we got a fucking belt, snort, la rip for you fucking dogs. For the prank call today, we're going to do the abusive partner prank call. Oh, Lord. So this is- Is gonna... every fucking door shut in my house, I'll go Matt? check. Go and open them, Matt. Wide. <sighs> Man, any fucking hey, time to do this. Ralph, please, please shut up. Please shut up, Ralph. Bitch. I'm um, sorry, mate. Um, I'm wondering if I could place an order for a pickup, just from yeah. yeah. It's out the fucking dinner done by fucking six o'clock, huh? Oh, sorry. Um, sorry about him. He's uh. Oh yeah, we're just wanting a pickup. Um, we just yeah. wanted two pizzas and a, a pizza for our our kids. Um, yeah. do you guys do kids pizzas the or is it just is Ralph? Ralph, front. Ralph, stop, please. Um, do you guys do kids pizzas or is it just uh like uh, adult ones, just the normal size? <laughs> Okay. You fucking twist my cock! You twist my cock like a pretzel! Okay, we'll we'll just go with um maybe yeah two kids pizzas. Um, they like ham and cheese. Can we just get the ham and cheese, please? God knows what. Sorry. Can we just get the um, ham and cheese? Yeah, on the. I'm getting a hammer. I'm getting a hammer. Oh, I'm shit. building. Ralph, stop! Please stop. Oh, I'm building sorry, a fort next door. 
Um, we'll just go with, uh, yeah, just to, we'll get two ham and cheese kids pizzas, please. Oh! Yeah, just two ham and cheese pizzas, please, for the kids, kid sizes. Yeah. Where's um, your shit? Where's your shit? I'm putting it in the box. And also, I'm just wanting, um, Ralph, what pizza do you want? Please calm down, Ralph. What what pizzas are you wanting? What are they fucking over, eh? Hey? Rum and Coke. Oh. Give me a rum and Coke pizza. All right, I'll just go with a vegetarian for me. Can I get the spicy veg, please? And can I get that on puff oh, crust? Yeah, I'll just go with a yeah on the puff crust. Um, and we'll just get him a meat lovers, I think, and just go with uh, thin and crispy for him, I think. Uh, Danielle. Break my fucking fingers off of your fucking ass if you don't look at me right now. Okay, sorry. Oh. Oh. Um, and what what about drinks? What do you want to drink, Ralph? Hit me in the back. Hit me in the back with your head. So, uh, yeah, we'll just go with some Coke, if that's all right. Coca-Cola. Ah! Smell my shit! Smell my shit! It's on the wall! And just, um, yeah, just a, a Coke. And I think you've got, like, the new desserts. Have you got, like, a lava... I don't care! The lava wrap? Burn the pram! Burn the pram! Burn the pram! Yeah, yeah, they seem good. Are, are they big? Because, like, uh, yeah, just... Would snip one be okay for two kids, off. or should I get two? I'll snip your fucking foreskin off, Sandra! We'll get one of those and um, we'll go with the churros, if that's okay, the, des- uh, the desserts you have. Bring me breast milk! Bring me breast milk, you fucking slut! Um, 0401? Don't you take it? Ow, 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 fucking ow, my phone number! Oh, sorry, he doesn't, I can't. Uh. I'm deaf! I'm deaf! Look at me, I'm deaf! He doesn't want his number given. Um, he's just he's real whack with that sort of stuff. I'm deaf. Look at me, everyone. Yeah, sorry, man. I've got to grab a number for that one if that's alright. Okay, we'll um we'll just go with 0401. Write it down, write it down and send eight, it over next door because three, I'm not two, dealing with it. Six two one. You are a fucking dirty slut. You have to give the number. I will ring your neck you have with to give the number. Asshole. Yeah. Um, Take my back with your fucking cum. I want your cum to see it through my skin. Do you understand me? So it was the too many deep ham and cheese, the pop, spicy the cherry, the thin butter. Drink my piss! Drink my piss with a hole in your neck! I'm so sorry, I couldn't Wrap that. my it's testicles just... around your pinky finger and rip them off! Just the four pieces on the three sides. Yeah. I don't want to be yep. here anymore. Yeah, thank you. Bring me my wife. It'll be ready in about 10, 15 minutes, man. Okay, thank you. No worries. Just... Have sex with me. Have sex with me. Cancel that order. I don't want to be here. Bring me a dark, dark shit. <laughs> Oh, you can cancel? You have to call them and cancel. Always cancel. cancel. <laughs> they do it. Dude, they're going to make hey. the food. Mate, we're, we're pranksters. We're not, we're not the devil. <laughs> they're going to see this podcast. <laughs> oh, my fucking neighbours, dude. They would have heard all of that. Oh, man, that was hard work. <sighs> There's shit on the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tune out so hard and so much of it. Oh. You got you played real victim then. I thought you were just going to ignore it, but you kept playing victim. It's Calm you, down. Did you give him a number? Yeah, hi, this is Joe. Can I help you? Yeah, we're just looking to cancel that order for Danielle. We just got a um, sprocket leak in the car socket, so we can't drive down. All right, so my, um, Danielle, you said? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man, no problem. Sorry about that. that Sorry about that. It's just the the cars. It's all rusted on the side, and it's like a big chip out of the the, uh, front left tire there. So, 
Yeah, yeah I know. It's like, it's, I haven't seen a lot of this. I like haven't seen it like that yet. Anyway, mate, we'll put the we'll put the uh, the grease on the back spoiler, and we'll see if we can get it going. But it's not looking good till probably next Tuesday. But anyway, that's bad, man. Lift it down and push the sprocket fence to the uh, cylinders, and there's nothing there. <laughs> there's just nothing in there. So. Okay. All right. All right, man. <laughs> good luck with that, man. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Appreciate All it. Right, man. The oil. See you, dude. The- <laughs> <laughs> That's even better than the French ball. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's 7 o'clock. All right, we're going to go. I love you all. <laughs> See you, guys. Yes.